morning, this is Veronica Wasik with the 5minutebookkeeping.com blog where we show you how to minimize bookkeeping and maximize profits. So in this tutorial, we're going over how to close the books in QuickBooks Online. Now that doesn't mean that you take a book and open it and close it. It's actually closing your QuickBooks data. Why should you do that? Well, to preserve the integrity and accuracy of your reports and your QuickBooks data. So let's look at the tutorial. Here's how you close the books in QuickBooks. Go to the gear icon, select Account and Settings, click Advanced, in the Accounting section, click on the pencil icon. Check the box next to Close the Books, enter the closing date, In the next box, select the choice for Allow Changes After Viewing a Warning and Entering a Password. Enter a password and confirm, and click Save, and click Done. So what happens if you try to enter a transaction to a closed period? Let's take a look. Let's try to enter an expense. Okay, so here's an expense that I'm attempting to enter to a period that I have already closed. Now click Save and Close. And we get a message saying that the transaction date is prior to your company's closing date. If you're sure that you want to make this change, enter the closing password that you created and click Yes. Otherwise, click No. And just keep in mind that if we click Yes, this will change prior reports and accounting data. So make sure that this is a valid change. So that was pretty simple. I'm sure you can do that. So go ahead, try it out with your own QuickBooks. And remember, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get all of the latest tutorials and visit my blog at 5minutebookkeeping.com so you can get the step-by-step -step tutorials together with the video. Till next time!